Hi everybody, long time no see. I know it's been a long time since I've actually recorded a video and there's a reason behind that but I'll get into that in another video. So I'm just here to do a haul for you guys just to do like a comeback because I went shopping today and I, well yeah I did shopping in one place I just exchanged a foundation because I was trying out the Narsheer Glow Foundation. I really liked that one, but the only thing was that it had more pink undertones and I have more yellow undertones. Like, not a get to the extreme yellow, but I, I'm like in between, but more yellow. So I went back and I exchanged and I was so sad because when they did color check me again, the Narsheer Glow Foundation didn't come up into the system. So they recommended some different products and different foundations that were um good for my skin that that goes with my skin and everything so i decided to just get a different foundation i was so sad because i really did want that nourisher glow foundation and i couldn't have it because i mean i could have it but i didn't want to take the time out to mix my other foundations that have more yellow undertones and everything i didn't want to do all of that so i just stuck with something else and i decided to pick up the Kat Von D Locket Tattoo Foundation. I forgot the name of it. And it's 24 hour wear, which is pretty good because I needed a foundation that was going to be good for, for uh, photography and for my wedding day. I know I wanted and I did say that the Naked Skin Foundation was really good. And it is good. I'm not complaining about it. It's just I wanted something more full coverage. I don't think that one, let me see. Yeah, this one is the Naked Skin Foundation, and it's pretty good. I like it. The only thing is it's just I wanted to get something else to have my options out there, whether I want to try this one or the Naked Skin Foundation, depending how I feel, especially in the winter. I mean, it's not going to be winter time when I get married because I'm getting married in two months, but I want to try something out for the time being because I know my skin is going to change and just try it out and see which one I like better and which one takes better pictures and stuff like that so I got this one and this one's in the shade medium 54 so I was pretty surprised because when she color matched me I was pretty surprised that I was a different skin tone color maybe because I got a tan. I went to this new mall that they built not too long ago and uh, I think it's Baychester so if you're from New York and you know where Baychester is at you know exactly what I'm talking about they built up new malls by Bay Plaza and they have so many stores like stores that you have to travel an hour for so I went to that mall and they had a Sephora there which I did pick up the Kat Von D there instead of the one in 42nd Street which I normally go to but they had a Ulta. I was so happy because I love Ulta. Ulta is like the best place to shop at when it comes to drugstore and high-end. I mean they don't have all the high-end makeup but they have the ones that are popular and everything. So I got like maybe a couple of things from there and I went there for one thing but you know when you go into a store you really don't go for one thing you just usually come out with more than multiple things but anyway so I went to Ulta and I'm so happy because they were on sales the stuff that I got they were on sale but I went for one thing and it's pretty big and I did spend a little more money than I usually do when it comes to hair shampoos so I got the Redken shampoo and this is the color extend magnetic sulfate free shampoo I am so happy about this because one look at the uh, size of this this is about 33.8 fluid ounces which is a lot I know I'm gonna be having this for a long time because it's a lot and usually I don't buy shampoo this big so I'm pretty happy I mean I paid more than I usually do but it's okay because as if it does work then I'll continue to buy more but the more the better and the bigger the better so now I'm gonna go into makeup I didn't get a lot of stuff because I didn't go in there for those so but I I seen these on sale so I wanted to get these I picked up this Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge I heard really good things about this I mean people said it was a little complicated when you first try it out but then you get into the uh, use of it and you get the hang of it I want to try this because I don't own a actual beauty blender 
like the original one i've always bought the ones that are really cheap and they're really hard which i don't like that's why i didn't really bother to use a beauty blender i usually use my f80 kabuki brush from sigma or the sigma not sigma the real techniques blending brush i like using those for my foundation for a flawless uh finish i picked up two lip liners one from nyx and one from rimmel these are almost the exact same colors and i just noticed that when i got home but these are like more of a full deep burgundy colors one from well from nyx one is auburn and it's more of a burgundy color which is right there and the one from rimmel is called ravish and i'm just gonna reapply this because i did take it off but i'm just gonna put it back to where it was and it's right there they're almost the same exact color i wanted to get these for a base on my lips because i love using mac diva lipstick and mac dark side so i needed a lip liner for those because i have a lot of neutral colors but i need to change it up i've been into dark lipsticks like so much but anyway so i got the nyx butter lipstick in the color snow cup and this one is more of a pinkish nude shade i'm gonna swatch it right here for you guys it's really pretty i don't know if you can see that but it's really really gorgeous i don't own a lot of nude lipsticks because i'm more of a bright pink or red lipstick kind of girl and it's very creamy. I really like that. That was on sale for $3 instead of 5 to $6, which is pretty cool. And I think that's... No. I have two more makeup and one non-makeup thing. This one is the L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner in the shade Black. I almost burped and I just hit my necklace. That's not good. So I got this one because I heard so many good reviews about this and good things about this. So I got this one and I used it on my eyes today. I don't know if you can tell from the black, but it's really, really black. And it's really easy to apply and it's, it glides onto your eyes so good, which I do like because I used the other one from L'Oreal, the really skinny one. But I needed to switch it up and I wanted to try that. The last product I got is the Rimmel London Stay Matte Long Lasting Press Powder. And I really do like this one because... I like the coverage of it. I like the fact that it does set my makeup really good and it leaves me with a matte finish. So I might use this one with along with the Kat Von D. If you want to see a review on the Kat Von D foundation, let me know in the comments below. And I'll definitely do like a first impression video. Uh, the last thing I got is the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelette. And this was on sale. It was just like a dollar off than the original price. I love these. These remove your makeup so well. I don't usually use this on my eyes unless I necessarily have to, but I usually like to use this for to take off my foundation and to take off my eyebrow uh, shade and everything. That is all for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this little mini haul. I did enjoy going shopping and then seeing all the stuff that was on sale. I could have gotten more stuff, but I just didn't want to waste that much money. So half the things that I did see, I, would, I wasn't really interested in this stuff. But anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see a review on any of the stuff that I did show you. Or have you tried any of the stuff? How do you like it? How do you not like it? So your opinion does count and I do want to know what you think and also if you want to see more videos let me know what kind of video you want to see i did come out with a video before this previous to this it's the full makeup it's a bronze i feel like i keep having to burp but it doesn't want to come out don't you hate that it's the golden bronze eye tutorial so check that out or i'll post it right here for you to click on and you can check it out and definitely comment and like that video so thank you so much guys for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye guys